Today, we will talk about the euro market, which encompasses the financial market for euro currencies as well as the single market of the European Union. The term euro market can be used in reference to the financial market for euro currencies, which are any currencies held or traded outside their country of issue. For example, a euro dollar is a dollar deposit held or traded outside the US. The euro market is appealing because it's free from the regulatory and political risks of the home country. This market is a major source of finance for international trade due to ease of convertibility and lack of domestic restrictions on trading. The term euro market can also refer to the single market of the European Union, created by the abolition of restrictions on the movement of goods and services between member countries. This free flow of goods and services across borders makes it easier for companies to operate across countries, improve efficiency, stimulate trade, and achieve deeper integration between EU member countries. Note that the eurozone is not synonymous with the euro market, as not all EU members have adopted the euro as their currency. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The euro market may refer to the single market and free trade among European Union EU, countries. 2. The euro market extends beyond the eurozone countries that use the euro currency to all countries signed on to that free trade agreement. 3. The euro market may also refer to the euro currency's market, where an institution uses money from another country, but not in the originating country's home market. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.